It's the middle of May right now. Colorado is so crazy. So we got snow this morning. It's uh, pretty early. I have a lot of work to do, which is like my mantra in the last couple of days. Take a fucking day. That's what we need to do. First, first things first, to bet you thirst for weed. But yes, I'm wearing the same sweatshirt as yesterday because the shit's hot and I want y'all to regret not buying it. So yeah, I'm wearing the t-shirt too because that's how I'm feeling. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> he might be on the fucking plane. Yeah, he's unavailable. He said he's flying. I'm gonna say so. Lil Uzi Vert would have answered. I was just FaceTiming you for the vlog to let you know that Jordan, Brand, and Fortnite have a collab coming. He said it's the worst turbulence of my life. Don't worry. I won't let you die. Kusto just tweeted out like why people are upset about the Jordan Fortnite collab. I want, I'm not upset. He's not talking to me, but I imagine that's the problem is there's no context for anything anymore. Sneakers and Jordan, Jordan's especially, has got like so much history. Grown men always crying and talking about how their uncle fucking beat up three guys to take him to one game and shit. That's your context, that's your story, that's your history, whatever. That's cool, awesome, whatever, you know what I mean? Same reason I eat a slice of pizza when I go to New York City. Certain things that you just do, I get it. But when you put it in a game like Fortnite, that's just super goofy, it kind of like puts a little chink on that story. You know, it's just like if they sold Louis Vuitton at Walgreens, it's kind of the same concept. Here's the shoe room now. All the shoes are shipped out. I don't know what to do. I know I said I was gonna tear the shoe room down, but I kind of like this little wall. I might just take those down, sell those, and see if the rest of these fit for now. I really don't know what I'm doing as far as this house goes either. Right now, I'm just gonna do this traveling. Figure it out when I get home, basically. Think about it on the road. Tattoo emails are answered. I did some other work I have going on that I can't talk about. NDAs and shit. I would play this Sekiro game, which is really hard and fucking crazy. All right. Hats, hat sample photos. Black sample. We gotta clean this room up today, sir. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. Go, <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my box. Until I look like the woman of your dreams right now. Oh. oh. Are you okay? God damn. We have movie tickets for 915. What? 915. <laughs> so as I'm sitting here trying to do all my scheduling, of course, the only thing coming across my timeline is the Jordan Fortnite thing. You know, I made a post, so I invited it into my world. Aside from Jordan, aside from Jordan hate and being like more of an Adidas fan, which look, it's open season on everybody right now. I'm just a I'm just here to like give you, tell you how I feel from day to day. I don't care what it is anymore. I just ran up and down the stairs like three times. I don't know if I said this yet on the vlog, someone asked me if I would if I would be hype if there was a Godzilla shoe the other day, and no, I would be super pissed. I would be very upset. You know, it's like trying to mix tattooing and stupid shit. It's okay to not mix everything that you like together. It's not about Jordan hate, it's just about there being no context. But they did a maxi pad. You know, like, what's next? Like, what Like, what do you want? It's a Jordan cell phone? Air Jordan, it's in the air, use the cloud. Where does it stop? Everything is space balls. Some shit just doesn't need to be mixed. It loses the little piece that it has that makes it feel like it's in any way homegrown, which is a trick. You know, Nike and Adidas are obviously not homegrown. You know, it's obviously not like small companies anymore. You're not, you're not buying local, you know? Obviously, we accept that. They convince us at times that they that it is different, and it just isn't. That's why collabs like Fortnite and shit like that are just goofy and weird. It's not like Fortnite is a basketball game. No, you know, we just live in a world that has no boundaries anymore, and it's fine. But you know, I I don't care. I just think that it's silly when people say things like it's doing something for the culture. It's all the stuff people put behind it. I don't have a problem with Game of Thrones. You know, it's like okay, yeah, whatever. But when people say like that was the best show ever, then you kind of have to be like, eh, let me tell you about this. That and the third. Yeah. But that is what is being talked about mostly today. And today is mostly me doing a lot of scheduling. And I want to draw like a little flyer. You scared the fucking shit out of me. You didn't even notice I opened the door? We're out of weed? Yeah. Completely? Pretty much. I'm gonna have to go later. <sighs> Alright. Took a break. Made some impossible. Well, they're not impossible burgers, the other brand. Beyond Burger. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> That's not meat. I still have not eaten any meat since I've been home from wherever it tells. Yeah, no meat yet. So it feels good, you know? It feels good to switch things up. Yeah, I'm gonna eat and get back to drawing. Just drawing and scheduling. Drawing and scheduling. Scheduling and drawing. One of the main struggles of vlogging, I feel like most people have, even myself, 
forces you to do stuff. Like you have to come up with, you know, at least in your downtime, like you just, you just don't get to be like super lazy. Like it's not like you're going to be like, Hey, today on the vlog, I'm going to watch every episode of Lost. That doesn't usually work out. One of the things is it keeps you going and doing stuff. It's also one of the things that I've lost in the fact that a lot of what I actually do is just sit here and draw. Today, what was going to be like a really quick, like, I'm just going to make this little flyer for the travels coming up has turned into an all day event. It's 2.30 right now. And I'm still just on the, the lining. But the honest to God's truth is that today, what I've really done is just sit here and draw. I haven't done much else. It's just like draw an email, draw an email, draw email, throw a tweet in there, here and there. But that's, that's literally this day in history. But it's funny because when people vlog, I think they think that they have to go and do all these crazy things, you know, and like make their life seem like it's insanely exciting, which this is exciting to me. I, don't, I can't honestly think of anything more fun than sitting and being able to draw, you know, and listen to shit. It's like amazing to me. So, yeah. Just so we're clear, not a complaint. But probably also not that exciting to watch either. I mean, this is what I set out to do, but I didn't realize that I was drawing the torch shirt. I thought I was just gonna draw this like little flyer. Then I realized that this would make a sick ass shirt. Basically, I spent, I spent today a little bit in my head worrying about what I was gonna draw, but this is all the cities. It's got these cool little like touches that I like. A couple little changes, it'll be good to go. And if I get it done today, I might actually be able to have it by Atlanta, which is a stretch, but it's possible. Um, either way, I'll work it out. Um, but we're also going to this movie. So that's cool. I got hype in my head when I realized that would totally work for a shirt. It'd be cool. <sighs> I just gotta work on it some more. Um, I don't remember why I picked the camera up though. There was another reason that I picked this camera up. I can't remember what it is. Taking quite a few dabs today because it's just been like an art day. All day. I thought I was just sitting down for a quick sketch. Oh, it's 420. Rasher, I felt like full self-worth, like I was like, yes. Hey, Alex. Alex? Yeah? We gotta go in like, what, 15 minutes or something? You've been crazy all day. The boo! Oh, I've been drawing this for like 12 hours. Dude, you've been working hard today. This is ridiculous. It's a little crazy. I love it though. William attracted to Edmund. Like, that's, I, like I would bet him. He's like, he's got like a Sydney Pollock look. Right. We went to the movies, but we left early. First, I think it was, I thought I was a psycho. But I had, there's a couple on their first Tinder date behind us, and they just talked like really loud through the previews. And then the movie started, and they kept talking. So I told my man, very politely, to shut the fuck up. <laughs> he didn't shut the fuck up. And then, so I started thinking about it, and I was getting madder and madder and madder. And then it was, you know, there's like pockets of quietness and then pockets of talking and then I realized I was just focusing on the 155 ways I was gonna beat this dude's ass after the movie to be responsible and learn things that I learned in anger management <laughs> I decided that we should leave because it didn't feel like it was gonna end well no matter what which I was fine with because they were so annoying they would mm. not stop talking yeah they were pretty annoying. It was very distracting it's pretty bad though so my vibe was ruined we're home we're gonna smoke weed I wasted 30 some bucks I could have complained to the man and do all that shit but that's not the energy you know Know? Whatever, bro. Like, that dude's energy will get him where he goes. I'm sure someone else got him kicked out because the shit's annoying. I'm not the type. Like, I'm not the type to be complaining to the manager. Or whatever. I just remove myself from the situation or beat your fucking ass. I decided to not go to jail today. So, we're out here doing another day. 12 hours of drawing, one hour of. Whoa, what is that? What are you doing, crazy? You are so crazy. I feel like all the footage of you today is you just pulling on shit. Alright. You see you in the morning. Well, I got dressed and all, well, put on the same sweatshirt for the third day in a row, but. It's, uh, I slept in a little bit today. It's, um, nine. Oh, God. It's time for my fucking computer to turn on what it is. Uh, it's not, like, almost nine. Oh, no, it's almost ten. So, yeah, working on this drawing. I'm gonna try and go get the car washed because the weather doesn't suck. Do random shit. We gotta leave here in a few days to go to Taos. So Brady's gonna start shipping Metagod today for friends and family. 
glow in the dark Yeezys drop last night. Adidas did a shock drop. A lot of people were shocked. A lot of people were also salty last night on Twitter. It's like people are really upset when they can't get shoes. It's the psyche of their despair. I'm all for, I love StockX. Shout out to StockX. I have a pair coming from StockX because I handed myself an early L. Don't take an early L. If you know you're gonna miss, you know you're gonna pay resale, at least wait for people to get the pairs in hand. Or at least use common sense and realize that once everyone gets their pairs, people sell pairs for cheaper. It's always the way it goes. High, <laughs> low, high, level. You know, that's how it works. So, just wait for the drop. Consortium stores only, I do believe. So, May 25th. Exactly the way they did the zebras, I think. That's how the zebras were supposed to go originally and it didn't happen. I can't quite remember. That's why there was a restock on the zebras, because not all of the stock got to the United States in time. Um, so yeah, that happened. Movies last night was lame. We were actually at the Alamo Draft House and people said, that's the best thing about Alamo Draft House, they'll remove them. Problem is, is that once you have somebody removed from the movies, like my whole energy would just be changed. Because the more I yell at them to be quiet, the more I'm interrupting everybody else. Um, but yeah. I don't know where Ern's in New York. I don't think he sent me any footage. Call Dirty Ern on speakerphone. Calling Dirty Ern on speaker. No, we're old Mr. Rockstar's not gonna answer the phone. Your call has been forwarded to. Ah, screening your calls now, I see. You in a tunnel? You in a New York tunnel? Oh god, you hear me? Uh, I can hear you now, I guess. Um, nice. What the fuck did I even call and ask you? Uh, I think I, oh yeah, do you have any footage for me? Not really, I, I didn't do the airport because it's always the same thing. And it's not like I'm mad at you, I was just- No, I know, but I wish I did have more. Start vlogging tomorrow. I vlog, I walk in the morning in Brooklyn today, but it's not worth sending. There's no like story yet, it's yeah. just- That's fine, yeah. yeah, just a question. All right, well then I'll hit you later. All right, sounds good. Alright, peace. Omar, get in the house. This is like insanity. All day with this shit. So, I uh, don't know how in the fuck anyone could possibly do tattoo schedules. I mean, I get it if I don't have anything else going on, but holy shit, tattoo schedule shit has taken like days. Like I'm finally getting it to the point. I think I have it mapped out. I'm probably gonna have to like change my schedule a little here and there. Yeah, I mean, it's, there's a lot of tattooing that's gonna happen on this trip, which I'm excited for. It's fun, like ever since uh, Japan, I've been kind of like itching to do a couple of tats. So it should be a good time, a lot of good ideas. So actually all good ideas, cause I just don't, you know, for what you're gonna pay for a tattoo, you might as well get a good one. Bad ideas, just put those in your notebook. Brandy's here shipping. She's went to go get one. All the AI. Meta God shipping. It's all here. Well, she went to go get the rest. That's all. It's all happening, dog. Uh, the prints for the Meta God drop will drop for the public on May 25th at noon. It's also Trey's service. Felt that, that was appropriate. It's also my father's birthday. Numerology in this motherfucker. Garments will all drop for the public on June 1st, which is the following week. Probably the same time. And then, uh, friends and family, you guys are getting a lookbook basically before Friday. We have new, the new shit. I got this flyer done, which was a flyer at first, which is now a shirt, which now has to get done. Scruff's getting hit, dog. Y'all send prayers to Scruff. You don't have to do all this shit. <laughs> and then I gotta get it all finished before, uh, you know, we take off. And we take off on Friday. Today's Wednesday. Two pairs of gloves on the way. Retail pair, StockX pair. I don't know if I'll keep the double. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I also really like that color, so I may just keep the double and fuck them up. All the shoes got mailed. Those are actually already starting to get delivered. Friends and family, your stuff's on the way out. This room is absolutely a motherfucking wreck. Oh, this tattoo schedule is done. I gotta figure out Pittsburgh. I'm probably gonna add a day so that I can actually spend time there. Oh god, this might be my day. I don't even, if I gotta get, it's already 3.30, I gotta start editing, we're not gonna get a vlog. This is ridiculous, bro. Trying to vlog and do tattoo shit is insane. Insane.